you should try to keep pulling out credit cards until you get to like 15,000. What the f told you? So oh. it was a family recommendation. Oh! Oh! You're gonna destroy your life. Hi, my name is Eve. I'm 22. I'm out of Colorado Springs in Omaha, Nebraska, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do for a living in two very different places? So I work from home doing tech support for a bank. Oh, very cool. What are we making in this position? Um, they just gave us a raise. So my base pay just went up and I get a 10% shift differential. So it's about 46 um, thousand just base pay and then with benefits up to like 60k what do you mean with benefits bonuses or you mean in bonuses terms of and then also um my insurance like they consider that part of my compensation yeah package. no absolutely i want to make sure i understand what money's coming home because you essentially need a raise <laughs> like Basically. with your spending habits you need a raise it's really not an option so we went from a raise up to well what do you think is going to be hitting your account on average on a monthly basis so that's kind of where it's kind of weird. So I I get paid weekly, but the way that the last few months have been, I kind of have like no gauge of what's coming in. Because well, I, was, I mean, that's pretty clear just within your overall, like, I mean, you have every debt that's ever been like, but regardless of the debt, you spend almost double what you bring in. And it wasn't as bad when there was two incomes. So. Okay. So marriage? Yes. And now, active divorce process. Active divorce process currently in that. Okay, how long in have you been in the states? So okay, so obviously, when did you guys split up? August of last year. Okay, so August of last year. You know, it's been a little bit. Mm -hmm. Why haven't you cut down lifestyle? Because mm. that's kind of as much as it sucks. And I'm not like, oh, f you, you got divorced. Let's punish you. No, but there's also just basic math. Well, I was also on a medical leave and then I was in Colorado trying to get some things squared away. I was trying to do pain treatments, trying to figure out my life and then also kind of spiraling mentally. I was like, well, my life's f***ing over, so who cares? Because of the divorce? Yeah. Okay. So you started to give up on everything? Yeah. like. When have you decided that we're not giving up though? Because it doesn't seem like you're there right now. Um. So just recently going back to work. Like, yeah realizing that it's not over because for context um we started the divorce after a suicide attempt so oh gosh oh yourself oh yeah, yeah of course okay um wow now i understand this was a potentially abusive situation yeah okay yeah. so that's why i ended up like going back and forth between like uh omaha and colorado so there was a lot of like spending on the road and like being all over the place and just like mentally trying to like cope like, oh, you know, like, I tried to be responsible, and it didn't work out. So. Well, your spending is not the ridiculous part. The ridiculous part is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 individual debts. But you and have to our, remember, it's like two people, because I was taking out Well, which ones are both. under... You, you were taking out for both of you. Yeah. His name was on nothing in the marriage? There was two cards that he got because I didn't trust him having control over some of the accounts. Jeez, how long was this relationship? Um, like you didn't trust him to o oversee a financial document at that point. At that point, I'm like, F it. like I'm out, you know. And I tried. I tried multiple times to divorce yeah, him. And like sure. for context, like we did you file charges? Um, call after the police. The fact after he talked me out of it the first time. If I called him regarding all this and talked to him, what would he say? Because I do believe you because the other person sitting here, I'm not going to just be like, like, just say, I don't believe anyone or anything like that. Um, at the same time, there's always two sides of a story. B abuse is in no way ever excusable. But in his mind, you know, I feel like, I don't know, what would he say? Well, I can't sit here and act like a saint either because like there was also issues of like my own substance abuse. And okay issues with impulsivity because like that's a key characteristic of like borderline and what's your substance abuse alcoholism and then okay. um both of us nicotine where are you with any of that today um there are still some lapses with the alcoholism but that was a big part of my treatment last year and so i did an extended stay the treatment no or? the uh involuntary okay so okay 
the hospital was a lot better than the first hospital. When so, was your last relapse? Um, probably about three months ago. Kind of my issue is like throughout my life, like blackout drinking every single time. So just constantly, constantly just. Were you able to get on the wagon pretty quickly again? Um, it just depends on when the lapses were happening because like especially like in the winter like a lot of like seasonal depression issues and then like being isolated from family because we were so far from colorado because we're both from colorado what was the medical leave for because of a lot of stress transition we were first moving to south dakota i got a new position i got overwhelmed and i was going to quit my job but my manager said hey don't do that here's a program through the company so that's when i was introduced to like Oh, I can step away if I need to. And then the second one was because I got assaulted by my roommate in South Dakota. Did you press charges there? Talked out of it. They're like, they're going to, the big thing was, is like, if you press charges, because they were both in armed security, like that's their background. So if I made a report, they would lose their gun rights. Good. It's, it's kind of a tricky situation because it's like, I, you know, I don't want them to lose their gun rights. Why? Well, a lot of our spending was on firearms. Again, I want to ask before we go into the financial situation, what are you trying to get out of this? Because, I mean, there's negative people online at all times for any creator. Some people say, oh, I'm taking advantage of someone in a with mental health issues in this kind of conversation. And I want to make sure that I am not. I want to know what you want to get out of this conversation. How can I be beneficial to you? Well, what? you're kind of like my last ditch ever before I just say F it and blow it no, up. No, no. Yeah. Blow what up? Just, what are you going to blow up? Just give up. Just I'll quit my job and say F it. Don't ever give up. First of all, if you give up your job, we already talked about that. You already told me. I mean, you lose the benefits that you need to survive mental health. I will call out the bad. I will call out the bad. I will give my recommendation. I will build a budget, uh, give my thoughts on your income situation, and give you a broad, large picture, and then connect you with resources after the show. That's what happens every time. I can do that. But me being your last-ditch effort... I mean, it, it, you have to walk away from this and put in the choices. I can't make choices for you. That is not worth giving up. Plus, I mean, you're 22. You are so young. You have so much life to live. Imagine you giving up at 22. What is 40-year-old you going to think? You've ruined your 40-year-old self at that point. So how do I untangle this mess? Because at this point, it's like that seems like the only option. Let's go into your finances. But first, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Oh, it really helps support this video. Uh, I'm assuming you'd give yourself a score of 0 out of 10 finances, right? And like, what would you say? Sorry, I don't want to speak for you. I mean, maybe a 1. Okay. Well, Just. All right. Okay. Com compared to like other people I know, like I could be homeless in a car. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Yeah, there's lots of disqualifiers in my score, but if you want your Hammer Financial score, link in the description below. It's free. It's fun. We got PayPal. 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 Debts. Credit and MasterCard. Okay. We're owing $330. Now, the crazy thing, I, the, yes, the car is a big balance. There's a couple of big balances, but most of these are pretty small. There's just so many individuals, and the minimum monthly payments just absolutely obliterate your life. Obliterate your life. Well, I was told that, like, you should try to keep pulling out credit cards until you get to like 15,000. What the f told you? What? Just trying to figure out like some internet forms. Like I, when I was in college and then like a college TikTok, recruiter. what have you done? <laughs> well, to be fair, it's the recruiters that sit on campus. Cause like oh, that's, uh, that's how I got my first credit card. Wait, 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 wait. The, 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 the people with like the little credit booths? Yeah. Oh, f them, f them. Those stupid pieces of shit. They're like, oh, you, like you only make $11 an hour? Here, pay rent and groceries on this card. Kill me right now. And I was like, okay, if you're willing to give me money, I'll take it. Have we at least learned our lesson that that is bad? Mm. What? What do you mean? How is that not an instant yes? Have you seen the stack that is in front of me? Yes, you have. You sent them my way. How is that not an instant? Uh, yeah. Opening all these credit is bad. Well, there's a lot of times that the credit came in handy it's because you didn't have a fully funded emergency fund that was that was your choice of the finances of you choosing to rely on credit cards instead of ever 
cutting down, building a fully funded emergency fund, and that would have replaced that situation. That's well, why well, there you there was times that I did have an emergency fund, How and much? then the timing. What was your max emergency fund? Six thousand. Okay. Well, that's us. certainly not enough because emergency fund, it is six months of what you need to survive or 10,000 hours, which everyone's higher. But because, at like 21 and like Well, 20? you work to get there. You work to get there. No, no, no. It's not magically going to appear in your account. That's for sure. But I just don't like the mentality of relying on a credit card. Well, it was just like, it's just all about like timing. Like, I feel like credit can save you from like changing your due date and like if okay. you use it to get away from, hey, I'm going to be homeless if I don't make this payment. Of course, absolutely. And there, there, okay, yep, there's, I mean, there's nuance to everything and that is a valid point. When you're going through that process of building up your emergency fund and something happens and you have to pay for it, yeah, you go into debt. But what do you do then when you go into that debt? That's when you cut back on everything to pay it off as quick as possible and then continue that journey towards a fully funded emergency fund. But you didn't do that. You just continued the spiral of debt instead. So yes, that's going to happen. That is going to happen. Like a, a car breaks down randomly. Uh, we have a lovely dog under this table right now that I've become best friends with. Hopefully, I just knock on all the wood possible. You know, do you have pet insurance? No, but there was times that like we got in a little stitch with our other dog. Okay, well, if you you know if something medical happened, you would probably pay for it, and that might max out a credit card because no one's gonna let their pup get hurt. I wouldn't. I have two. I love them to just they are my world. Um, in that case, okay, that might go on debt. But then you sacrifice everything in the world to pay off that debt immediately. Sacrifice wants, not needs. I'm not saying go live in a box. But when you're in a two-person household and there's a conflict about what's the best way to do it, that's where a lot of the issues like stem with the finances. Oh, and sure. that's why I kind of took over with like, I'm going to be the one that manages it. I'm going to make the final decision. Mm -hmm. And he had two credit cards in his name. One for his own personal emergencies and one for his rifle. <sighs> yeah. I, I don't think that fully justifies what you said specifically, but I, but I do hear But it was just like point. his mentality about like, um, it's not an absolute emergency until like somebody's banging on the door. Okay. So, you know, if nobody's- But is that your victim, mentality? At one point it was because it was like- But is it now? I've I don't got, care I've about gotten, was, I care I've about now. I've gotten to the point that it's like, I'm, I'm realizing that like, it's starting to catch up to me. Like- <laughs> <laughs> understatement of the year okay yeah purchases 148 dollars and 52 cents then five dollars and 16 cents of interest oh come on in freddy's and spaghetti works some paypal purchase to be fair the paypal Did you credit, merge? maybe when i got back into watching the show why i specifically say on every merch thing i mean i would love you to buy my merch but it's you had fantastic a time drop so i was like oh well it's only it's a, it's a little, it's oh, I was a afraid window. with that. Fuck, I was afraid with that. <sighs> because figured. we have, have so many ideas that the limited, it does. Ah, I was afraid with that. I was afraid with that. That was one of my questions that I dealt with in that situation. And that's that's this. That's the Dirty Money merch, which isn't available anymore. And the irony is that's the same sticker I bought. It's a great sticker. It's a fantastic sticker. <laughs> uh, no. That fucks. In not a good way. Let me be very clear. If you cannot afford it from my merch, do not buy it. Do not. I'm not happy with that. Limited time, it's the strategy that you just have to entail for merch to be somewhat successful. But if you can, it's only four people can afford it. There are people in my audience who can afford it. And, and see, I try them. to justify it in my mind. It's like, I'm only buying the stickers. I wanted to buy the cup. What I've talked to myself like, to justify because uh, you're not spending something more expensive. Yeah, but it's like, oh, oh I spent this item. Uh, that's obviously bullshit. Um, potential. Nah, that's probably gas. Then what is Weston Westminster Westminster? Um, it's a restaurant within a hotel. Okay, so this is the point. If we built up all the debt, okay, that's the situation we're in. Okay, what do we do now? We sacrifice our wants. But you're not sacrificing your wants to pay it off. A lot of the times it's just me justifying it with like, the reason I was in Westminster is because I was looking at property. Property? A condo, yeah. How are you purchasing a condo? How in any way are you purchasing a condo right now? Well, the broker that I spoke to, they was like, yeah, we can make it happen. Oh, please don't tell me you're gonna do like FS FHA or something, or even well, that's like what a 0% program. That's what he was like, oh yeah, like we can get you down payment assistance, we can. Oh, like, 
we can like you know we just got to adjust your numbers and then it doesn't matter like you said you're currently spending like 33 percent more than you bring home what's your current rent um it used to be 650 but then they changed property management and it's going up to 830 830 is still kind of a blessing oh no it was intentional it was intentional for that location i know and then you lock yourself into a mortgage where rates are hovering around eight percent well my biggest plus extra with with like con uh uh, mortgage insurance and then whatever assistance program you're taking on this will not help you in any way this is gonna hurt you you can't afford to survive i just figure if i can just squeeze things and move things around then it'll be fine move things what what are you moving around put it on a credit card move move the due date put what on a credit card i have to make a payment like you put a payment over credit card on another credit card well some of these listen if you other. even said that statement if you even considered that statement Buying a piece of real estate is not in the picture. I'm sorry. Trust me, I want you to have it. I want you to f- You're going to do it. Well, it's going to happen. What's the point of... What is the point of being here? Well, if there's anything so I'm like good at, place, it's been real estate. Well, to be put into a place, like, how do I... Because that was the number one thing the broker said is, like, there are some concerns with the balances. So he gave me three cards that I need to tackle. There are and then, some concerns. There are con- some concerns. He's saying like it wasn't that bad. He's like, I've seen worse. And I was like, if you've seen worse, I can. Then that I gave hate me that. Hope. I hate the it could be worse. I've seen worse. Yes, I have seen someone piss themselves in front of me, drunk out of their mind on every drug possible, living homeless on the street, downtown Austin. That's pretty bad. That doesn't mean that I can just go and do a bunch of bad shit, but because that's worse, it's okay. That's not, that's not how it works. If bad is bad, is bad is bad. Doesn't matter if something's worse, bad is bad. Well, like the justification that like me and my ex had in, in our heads is like, oh, we're doing better than our parents. So I don't, it's I don't, good enough. But that's do you know that's f- again? I don't care about the used to. What? What? Uh, it's just the credit. Like it's in in like you said, emergency fund. Yeah, but it's like credit's not benefiting in- you. It's taking advantage of you. It owns you. It it owns me at work too because I work for a credit card company. So what is this credit obsession? Well, it's like a lot of the promotion of like even at work there's like oh there's little things you can do to get around certain things and like no if like our our company you know policy for customers is like if they want it figure out how to get it for them oh it's disgusting or like how can you help the customer spend oh so it i absorbed a lot of that too and then it's like but you know that's wrong you know that's wrong you for don't know that's wrong. Time, for the longest time, I was like, oh, yeah, that's not that bad. Of I, don't, I don't care about the longest time. I want now. I want where your mind is now. I don't give a shit about the longest time. Now. Now I realize I've, I've f***ed up. Like, I'm in a f***ed up spot. So why would you go take out a mortgage? I just want to go home. I want to go back to Colorado. You can go back to Colorado and you can rent. <laughs> you should see the market. Buddy, you're talking about buying a piece of property. Right now, the rental market is 10 times better across the United States than any buyer's market. But it's like, it'd be better to just like pay, like in a way, just like you're paying yourself rent. If you can't afford it, it is not good. According it, to somebody, I can't afford it though. Like that's where somebody, I'm Somebody, somebody. The, they're, the they're broker. A, yeah, but they're a dumb f- they're a dumb if they put if they say that, they're legitimately dumb. They're no no no. What they're trying to get is their little precious commission. I'm not getting paid by telling you this. I'm not getting paid by telling you this. I have no dog in this fight. It's dumb. I've bought a condo. I own um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight properties. I know a thing or two about that. Mm, I guess it's because like they oh. helped my cousin buy. So I was like, oh, oh f- my cousin's place is pretty nice. So I was like, oh, oh. F- oh. So it was a family recommendation. Great. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say to convince you? Okay. Oh, this is impossible. Your mind's set. It's done. It's it's done. You're doing it. You're going to destroy your life. So let's go well, through that's here. I'm trying to figure out how to pivot from this. How do I get out of this spot? Not by going into an 8% mortgage that you can't afford. I'll tell you that. Let's start. Let's go Best Buy. And the oh, other thing yeah. is a lot of these are special financing. So it's not like they, not all of them are really generating interest. So that's, that was the other justification. Like, oh, it's not real. 
$2,366.27. The minimum monthly payment of $36. These are going to stack quickly. $11.94 of interest is accruing. 30% interest. Yeah, majority of them are pretty bad interest rates. Okay. Will you at least let me... Because you're, you're in IT support for tech, you said, right? Yeah. Will you at least let me gift you a certification through Course Careers to like negotiate that for higher income in the future? Honestly, Add that would be the best to try to get okay. a better position. Because I okay, recently good. moved into that position from the operations side of the company. Because okay. that's when I started with the bank. I was supporting people buying motorcycles and ATVs and jet skis and at 24 to 35% interest. And the people that called in always sounded happy. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. $408.46 on ENT. This is in an interest-free period with a $40 minimum monthly payment. When does that interest-free period end? October. That one was kind yeah, of an emergency October. with the car. Like, I opened what? it. Um, my key had broken, and then, like, I had gotten locked out of it. So, it was like, the mechanism needed to be fixed. Oh, gosh. Because my going into debt for a mechanism. Yeah. <coughs> well, the car was car like old. an individual debt, like not even on a credit card. It's like we just like we opened a new debt. Well, that's what I was kind of like. My mom was like, "Oh, just open a credit card and just like when it's when." Never it's, listen to your mom again for anything financial related. Well, I'm realizing that, that now that their their mindset is a little bit broken because like even when bit. I was, they're like, you know, as long as you go over thirty, it's fine to keep a balance. Or I want to punch them. Well, to be fair, neither of them had parents, so it's like, eh, they're just winging it. And Nobody has financial education in this country. It's personal responsibility, figuring it out on your own. And when you make a mistake like I did, like you have, is getting help, seeking out the resources necessary, and cleaning up your life. If they, at that point, have not, they have failed to try to learn. Well, that's where I'm kind of seeing it now, especially like now that I'm not tied up with my ex. Like, how do I fix my life? Not by getting a... And some. to be fair, some of this isn't just mine that I'm, I'm trying to argue in court. Well, are you going to tell... Oh, you're trying to argue in court, so it's... Well, an active But process. all this is under you. Everything that I have here. I don't have any of his. You don't have any of his? Legally speaking. Yeah, because the other thing that happened is after I got assaulted, we separated finances because like at that point, I was like, I, I can't be here. So From the roommate. From the roommate. From the roommate, okay. yes. And then... um, So we, find, we started separating everything, checking savings. And we had our own checkings and savings. And what we were trying to do in Nebraska was like kind of reset our relationship. So separate finances, separate everything, stay legally married, but just date again. And then so we would go back and forth seeing each other, going on dates, spending on credit. I'm very sorry for everything you've been through, to be very clear. I really am. That's hard. Um, And you are brave for coming on. It's your actions after this that are the most important, though. And that's kind of where I'm sitting. It's like, I don't want to throw my future away, but it's like, I've lived in chaos like the past few years. Like, I don't, I don't know any different, but it's like, you're trying to tell me credit is bad, but it's like literally saved me in some f***ed up situations. Well, I mean, in the way you've gone about it, yes. But again, there's m- many more smart ways to go about it. And that's what I was starting to touch on. It's like your credit wouldn't be what it is if you saved yourself, as you say, on the credit, but then we sacrificed everything to pay it off. You didn't with your spending. You're not. So you're still not doing it in a way that makes sense. New balance of $1,117 in PayPal credit. All with, special financing, though. Uh, yep. Yeah, for Intel. Um, there's a couple. So the way that PayPal credit works is like yeah, each that's right. different one has different due dates. Yep. So I know yeah, one's coming, coming up in like two months, three yeah. months. And that's why I picked Four up the months, second job to months. try to nah, get ahead dude, of this that. Is gonna, I, mm. All right. Yeah. And uh, you got to pay it in interest or else the deferred interest comes and gets you. So yeah. you need to attack this. 30%. Death. Insanity. There's like three. Two and 11 like cents that. of purchases. Uh, it's what, a what Microsoft. Subscription? For school. For school. Oh, great. Wells Fargo. Everyone's favorite wagon. Yeah, I really want to get away from them because their banking is terrible. This is the one wagon I want you to fall off of. Get Which it. is... That was a pretty good one. Kind of... Uh-huh. I mean... Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. That wagon I'm chained uh-huh. to. Because that one... The other thing about the Wells Fargo is I use it for overdraft protection. So it's tied to my main checking account. <sighs> hmm. 
$576.89. Interest, $6.84. Purchase is $391.80. The previous balance is $46. You could have ended this thing. It was car parts. My car is kind of old. $25 minimum monthly payment. Overdraft protection. There it is. $156. Yeah. Should ca- Chandler Bar. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a car part. That I did twice. What I did is it's next to the laundromat, so Three I bought times. a drink and then got the cash pulled out instead of going to the ah! ATM. If you're not willing to cut back, you- okay, okay, Capital One Savior. Though that, with oh. that one, I at least wasn't binge drinking. Oh, I didn't even connect that. Yeah. Uh, oh, Two thousand thirty dollars and forty-four cents on this one. Minimum monthly payment is sixty-five. Uh, Forty-five dollars of interest charge. Oh my gosh! Here it is again. Six hundred forty-nine dollars thirty-nine cents of purchases. And interest is being charged. We can't pay it off, but we're going and purchasing some ticketing thing. Uh, a nightclub. <laughs> in your situation, that's not a good environment to be in. And then make Graw Hill higher. Cousin invited me out, and just like they've cut. <clears throat> Does cousin know your situation? Different cousins. And they Does all... Does cousin know your situation? Yeah, but they're like, oh, it could be worse. It could be worse. Like, oh, that's that everybody could be worse. Mommy's like... Your family is an enabling dumb... They're stupid financially. Financially. Financially! They're stupid. <laughs> yeah, the the debt cycle is bad for everybody. And that's why I was like, oh, my debt compared to them? I, I can swing it. I can swing it. So it's like, that's how I kind of cope. But then it turns into cope spending. It's at 32.2524 percent interest. A Walmart card. I Only don't like groceries that. though. Only groceries. Promise. I can show you on the app. Good. They're connected. Thank you. Because that's the hard part with Walmart. I just don't know. Twenty-eight down minimum monthly payment. Four hundred thirty-seven dollars fifty-two cents. Twelve dollars sixty-nine cents of interest. This interest is stacking up across everything. <sighs> Four hundred forty dollars, thirty-three dollars of purchases. Okay, so the Walmart's though. Okay, Walmart's are groceries, but you also stop in there and get like seven dollars of things. Usually that's bullshit, like a drink or snacks. I can, well, sometimes it is. It's like energy drinks and stuff, but it's like I'm buying it from Walmart instead of gas station. You don't. Or need I buy it. it in bulk, try okay. to cut down the cost. If it fits in the budget, if it fits in the budget, that's when we can do that. Other than that, we do necessities. But you are stopping at the gas station, getting nine dollars nineteen cents of stuff. Usually an energy drink. Subway is that an energy drink? There's no. another four dollar energy drink from Walmart. That's all. Anything on the, the Walmart liquor card? store? Yeah. Okay. Wait. When did you tell me your last relapse was? The blackout was my last relapse. Like the last time that I blackout drank. Wait. Uh, isn't drinking at all considered relapse in an mm-hmm. alcoholic situation? Not the way it was like explained to me by like the hospital. It's like if you can learn okay. to take like one or two drinks and stop yourself, you're good. The hospital said that for someone who's an alcoholic. They, so it was a religious hospital, and like they had a like, um, they had people was like how to like, because my thing is like I, it's not I'm at an age is like most of the socialization that happens is drinking, going out the bar. I know, dog parks. I know people that drink at the I dog do. park. <laughs> oh, well, they sound like. That's a sad life. Chick fil A. Certainly not an energy drink. Yeah, any food. Return ACH card payment. 100 bucks. That was just a bad timing when I scheduled the payment. So, but I ended up paying it right after. Synchrony. Oh, this is a large, thick balance. $1,000. We're sitting at a minimum monthly payment of $51. Deaf. Okay. Interest charge almost 30 bucks. 800 Oh, it was an $800 payment. Thank goodness. Oh, but then $300 of purchase is still. So, f*** me. Can't get too excited. Well, my coworker it's told all me blacked one time, out, like, but it's you pretty much gas. can pay the statement, that's how you cancel all the interest. So, I've been trying to, like... I, it feels huh? like playing a game. Like, Wait, if, say it again? If you just pay it within the statement, like, the big chunk, if you make another charge, it doesn't count. Because you paid the interest for that cycle. Yeah, but why pay any interest? Well, no, to avoid the interest. Buddy, $30 of interest happened. Yeah. Se- Security Service Federal Union. So this is your car. Was my car. What? Is that this? Nope, that's a different one. Oh, that was his car. Right now. Okay, okay. So what is this? What's the situation? So it was a 2016 Volkswagen Tigon. I thought my car was going out and it was. I was in Colorado. And my friend sells cars and he's like, hey... 
I can get you a deal on a car oh, what a if you want to come in. Well, he was a friend because he was just a salesman. And I knew it was like my biggest problem was the finance guy. But I did talk talk it down like the down payment. And they decided that I didn't need to trade in my car. So I was able to keep the other car. Which worked out because I ended up totaling that car. They're not going to take a loss. Don't think you won in this situation, especially at a 10.4% interest rate of insanity. Okay, the balance of a car you don't have anymore? It's totaled. There's only $300 left on the Through an alcoholic situation? No, actually. Okay. Unmarked uh, dip in Kansas. Okay, good. So it wasn't my fault. $15,836 is still owed on this. What about insurance? Well, there's only $300 left on it because I just made a payment on it and... Um, that's what's left with the gap. How'd you, how'd you get the money to pay this off? It got totaled. It wasn't my fault. So it was from the insurance? The insurance paid it. Okay, and it's at 300 now. Yeah, that's what I owe because I didn't pay for gap insurance because I was like, I didn't need it. Okay, good, 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 good. Well, I'm glad insurance was there. Good, because yeah. that's... Okay, good. And the car that, that I drive now is uh, kind of borrowed, so... Mm, apartments. So that was part of the situation with the roommate is we ended up breaking the lease and then the complex said that they um, were going to charge for fees that according to my contract didn't make sense because they said if you lived there for two years, they would cover certain things. But they're like, no, technically you didn't live here two years, even though like in the contract from the dates I did. And so I'm fighting them in court on that one. How many people are you fighting in court right now? About three. With who? Who's representing you? Um, so my company pays for legal services, and I Good. pay three dollars per paycheck. So like Good. my divorce, I've only paid like two hundred dollars. What's the other one? Uh, suing the roommate for damages for sexual assault. For the it was a physical assault. No, sorry for physical assault. Yeah, I mean getting bit in the face. A bit? Yeah, he's he a was- bat. No, he's psychotic. He was not well and should not have been in security. Oh, he was in security to kill me. What is this world? Yeah, so they were like used to like fighting with people all day. So it's like they had some violent tendencies. But he bites them? Well, that and like... This guy sounds like a mess. He was worse than me. Like he has 50K of medical debt and (sighs) was like behind on payment. Well, that's what I'm saying is like I directly lived with somebody that's like, oh, at least I'm not that guy. Oh, okay, we have five thousand seven hundred fifty-six dollars of different loans with all these other places. One loan was for Nebraska, and one loan was to for ENT. Cons- yeah, they were for what? For the consolidate part of the credit. Oh, okay, so that's what this is a consolidation. There's two. The smaller loan is for moving. Well, there's a five dollar one. Oh, oh, that's savings. That's savings. Eh, cancel that one. Okay, one thousand four hundred twenty. Because I used to automate my savings where like I try to treat it like a bill, like, oh, some this money is going to disappear. Yeah. And I would put it in an account that I couldn't see because I don't check this this bank account as often. But then when I get in a pinch, I'm like, I do know that money's there. It's a 12.5% interest. F- me. With a $67 minimum monthly payment, if I'm not mistaken. Fighting them in small claims court, the apartment? Yeah, because um, part of my services, they cover tenant law. And it's my, a really cool employment perk. Yeah, MetLife Legal. Love it. But you just got to find an attorney that will accept it because sure. some attorneys do not like the insurance. Yeah. But for up to 20 hours of work for free, when lawyers charge like $300 plus, so there's no way in hell I could have afforded to, to like fight with them. Okay. And then we have another one here, 4303 Three, $4,335.70 with an interest rate of 11.5 <clears throat> with a minimum monthly payment of $162.28. This is f- never ending. You go to your mom for what? I mean, some of the, the mindset was like, as long as you pay rent, like you don't really have to worry about the other bills. Huh? Like as long as you have some. That's to why stay. you borrowed from your mom? Well, I borrowed from my mom because she was willing to help because she didn't want me to be at that apartment anymore. So she's like, I will give you some money to break your lease. Have you started paying her? I've been paying her since day one. What is it? The minimum monthly? Usually 200. And then when I went on my medical leave, she put a pause on it. And then I just started paying again now that I'm back at work. It's the most expensive one so far. Yeah, because there it like causes issues. Member. It causes issues. Yes. Have. And that's why borrowing from family is wild. What's yeah, this? We got a little bit this is of the one light. that just got taken care of, right? Ah uh, yes, that's that's the loan, and that's what I was trying to send to them. But I don't. So know what's your car situation right now? 
So my dad, so I ended up giving my dad my Jeep because I got the Volkswagen. And okay. to also like get rid of stuff that could be claimed, you know, if things fell apart. So he took over that. He took over the insurance. And what are you driving right now? The Jeep. Oh, okay. And do you, so you don't have to pay anything for it. I will have to eventually start paying for the insurance. But that's it. There's no minimum monthly payment or anything? Nope. It's a hand-me-down. When will you have to pay for the insurance? Mm, probably not until next month. Next month. Okay. Yeah. We'll calculate that in the budget then. Student loans, you're, you better you, you better be on some like plan, right? They don't start until August, but they should only be like 150 because my degree like was pretty cheap. Well, you have $8,000 of student loans. That was for the whole degree. What was your degree? So it was neuroscience and then kind of like a minor in business management and nonprofit. And that I got in 2021. That one I'm kind of proud of because it's like another could have been worse. I could have been 30K in debt. Shut up with the could have been worse. I never want to hear that out of your mouth again. It's too much of an excuse and justification. I'm not even saying this is bad. I'm not even saying this is bad. But stop the it could be worse. Please. That is going to hold you back forever. It's going to justify and allow things to be seen like they're okay. Doesn't mean it is. Please. It's okay because, like you said, you've literally seen people homeless on the show, right? Oh, my gosh. That does not mean your situation's good, though. It could have been worse as the ultimate just excuse to just allow it to be like, okay, everything's actually okay. And In my not. mind, it, it kind of is because I'm not homeless. I paid my rent. Ah! I have no bills. I have 100% payment. You could be homeless. Could be. Could but be. I could just and I think you're headed down the path financially. If I just stop paying the credit cards, I won't have to worry about it. <laughs> well, you know how you like to litigate some people? They could litigate back. They, they oftentimes off, don't. Don't they? They could litigate back. Legally speaking, they could. They could come after you. Typically don't, but they could. These are small bounces, so I doubt they would, but they could. People have requested that I do a live Q&A for a while now, and I'm excited to announce that I finally am. On Wednesday, March 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. West Coast, we have an exclusive live Q&A for anyone taking or has already taken our budgeting program. It has changed thousands of people's lives, and we're constantly receiving testimonials from those saving money and fixing their financial future, showing that we made the best budgeting program in the history of the internet at the best time price. Sign up using the link in the description below and join me for the Q&A where I answer your questions live. Technically. Legally. Well, you signed a contract. Worried. Not too worried Remember about Remember the either. contract that you signed with the apartment and you're holding them credible to that contract? Yeah. They could do that too. They probably won't. <laughs> but they could. I guess it's a little bit easier for me to justify because it's like they're just a faceless company and if they're going to give me money, it's whatever. What does that mean? You don't feel moral responsibility when you borrow money from someone? Well, I work back. for a bank and I see what they do to people. So I was like, why should I care about them? Well, it's still a contract that you signed regardless. I'm not saying they're angels by any mean, but you signed the contract. And you. I have a 100% payment history. Okay. You can check my credit report. I've never missed a payment. Good, 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 good. But as these minimum monthly payments stack up, you, when you say it could have been worse, I could have been homeless, as these stack up, and you're talking about getting into a mortgage that you definitely cannot afford in any way whatsoever, it's like... That ends up to a foreclosure situation, which could end up in homelessness. So I don't want that. It could be worse. You're heading down the path of it could be worse because you tell yourself it could be worse. Well, I've seen even like families save themselves from like foreclosure. So I'm like, it's not over until it's oh over. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. You're too comfortable. You are too comfortable. $1,600 is, is due for my on plan health. So when I um, the insurance paid for most of it did like the divorce, it changed my plan a little bit. So like my company gives me um, untaxed money to spend on health stuff. Yeah. So therapy, medication, but it went from seven fifty down to five hundred, and I didn't realize that. Are you on a monthly payment plan for this? Um, I scheduled something with the the doctor's office directly, not through the company, because I'm going to okay. try to use my gym membership because they pay for that. And I just got to send the statements. It's a big benefit package. Like that's one of the few reasons I haven't, I can't find another company even close. Sure. Okay. Dentistry. Yo, $15. And that's part of that. That. Um, but why not just pay $15? I, I'm going to. Like 
I have already spoke to them and they're like, yeah, don't worry about it if you're going to talk to the insurance. So I was like, if they're not worried about it, I'm not worried okay. about it. Fair enough. And they're like, oh, I mean, this, this is screams you though. <laughs> like, you're just like. It's a smaller fire compared to the other fire. So it's like, I don't put oh, mental energy it in again. it. Okay. Uh, drywall? To, oh. For the damage. Okay. But there's a possibility that the, the apartment will cover it because of uh, domestic violence laws. Yeah. But they could still but we don't know. Me. Yeah, they're still on the fence about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did get a police report to them, so it's like they have a record. Man, is a hole in the wall going to be proof, though? Because, like, anything could be a hole in the wall, you know? Well, they, they worked with me through the situation. Okay, okay, good. So there's things on paper, there's a record. Yeah. Good, good, good. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Well, I'm not glad to hear that, but yeah. I'm glad that there's there, there's stuff on your side. $275. Uh, and that's when he that. goes back to, like, he could have murdered me. Could have been worse. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. $416 is due. Oh, my gosh. This is just endless, isn't it? Uh, this is another medical thing. So, what's your... Is it same, are you going to try the same thing with this? Um, It depends. Which one is that one? Because there's three main Integrative. ones. Integrative. That one, I'm on a payment plan. I just paused. What's your monthly? Um, It's about 40 You paused it? Yeah, because it was my therapy. Oh. That's what that is, is a therapy bill. Because the other thing, too, is I, I was on a plan. Can you stop therapy? Well, because I was on, like, with a student, so they only charged $10 a session. But then yeah. they left, and then I had to go to a professional, and after insurance, yeah. it was still, like, 190 Okay, okay, okay. And I kind of need a therapy Gosh. through everything. Don't just tell me what that is. That's the dentist stuff. That's that's the... We already looked at that. Yeah, you've already looked at it. That's all. That's, okay, so that's all the debts. That's all the debts besides the hospital bill. An extra hospital bill. The the insurance covered the majority of it, but there's still like 1600 But you my lawyer... Plan? There's what, a payment plan say? that's going to be set up after the divorce finalizes because technically medical debt is a marital division marital liability what's the payment plan um it's going to be probably like 56 47 okay. okay is like the minimum okay oh my gosh wells fargo 60 bucks that's terrifying but what are you transferring to fidelity you you can't afford to like pay your bills loans. oh f yeah kill me but the way that they justify it to me is like you're paying yourself so it's like it's only and it's a small percentage going out to eat there with that vajaya i think what's this security online 298 dollars which one is it security s r v f c u overdraft FCU? protection ten dollars overdraft 156 dollars more payday uh 401k loans and overdraft a lot of overdraft the over the overdrafting did not happen before I went on my leave because the other thing is I lost part of it. It now and that's all I care about. True. But I was being paid weekly so like a lot of my bills were structured for that. So well, restructure. That's what I'm trying it to do. It takes a couple hours to sit down and go through. No, you would have, if you were trying, you would have done it. Zellin out $40. Ven went out $35. The $40 is my phone bill. Transfer my sister. That's pretty good. 40 bucks? Not it, bad. My, my brother-in-law used to work for the company. Okay, okay. So. Yeah, I mean, I always, I'm actually getting a phone from them so I can like test it, but I always plug my boys over at Helium where it can be like $20 a month, which is pretty sick as well. That's what I looked into when we weren't sure if oh, he was yeah. going to keep his employee benefit because they let him go. Mm. And that's another reminder that companies don't give a f about you. Well, I'm a company. I care about my people. What are you talking about? As a small business, but what happens when you get big? I would like to think I still care about people. Sometimes you have to make hard choices, business choices for the sake of the business, which impacts every other. If the business goes down, then everyone loses their job. I don't think anyone enjoys firing people. I think that was an over, like, <laughs> I think that was a. A little bit of a generalization. I can yes. see that. This is just showing my payment history for the loans because like the okay. statements are kind of funny because one bank will do it all your bank accounts sure. on one statement. The other one is a bunch of separate. Same with this? Same with that, okay, yeah. Cool. So that's just payment history. So $60 showing that I've never missed. I've account. never missed. That's great. That's great. I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not yelling at you for something that you didn't do. <laughs> $60, 46 cents in your checking account scares me, but $710 in Wells Fargo savings. 
Um, so the way that you my should never be overdrafting. Well, the way that my bank is structured is I have three accounts with Wells Fargo. I have one that's automated payments and my direct deposits. And then I have another one that I try to keep a little bit of cash stashed. Mm -hmm. And then I have one that rolls over. So like every time I spend from that bank account, it rolls the change over so that I can have a round number so that I can like quickly it's like, oh, I can swipe the card because I know I have this much. So I can swipe the card, it keeps that number around. So like I was trying to set up systems and do automated payments and like move things around automatically. Yeah, you're moving things. Okay, you transferred in, transferred out. It's getting weird and confusing. A producer just told me you emptied this savings account? When I went on my medical leave, I oh. draining a lot of my savings. And then this one's also zero, not two. Yeah, all my savings are pretty much gone. Great, awesome. And where are you? So you have a little bit in a 401k, even though you have leverage against it anyway. So you're in these uh, target date retirement funds. I like target date retirement funds. Don't have much in there, but actually for 22, I'm actually kind of, it's so weird. Your financial situation is so weird. It's, you have $7 in there. Target date retirement funds are great. And the, there's another account in there that we try to set up to do it for my ex-husband too. Okay. Like that IRA that's empty, they used to have money in it because it was for him. But what's your 401k loan? Um... There's three of them. So there's different amounts. Okay, I think I have them written down here. Okay, $1,000, $600, $671. I realize another bad habit is like, I don't know off the top of my head where I'm sitting half the time. Where what? Half the time, I don't know where I'm sitting. I'm just- Sitting? Like financially, cause I, like, I just let everything So you've automating. never budgeted? Uh, okay, go through our budgeting program. Go, please. That's what everyone, every guest gets it for free. Go through it. It has changed thousands of people's lives. Please, please, like, actually take the education, the class, go through all the questionnaires um, and take the quizzes, please. The, it will literally f change your life. We're going to create a budget, but, like, what's actually required to do budgeting is, like, spending hours going through it the first time and then on a monthly basis going through it and eventually get shorter and shorter every time. But that's what you got to do. We're going to, we're going to put something together, a loose budget that, it gives you like a vision of what you need to do and how long things might take, but go through the program, yeah, please. Yeah, because everything feels like it's on fire. So again, you do spend double what you make. 40, uh, almost double. 40, uh, 34% of your spending is going net into debt. $1,709.10. I'm glad it's at least a large percentage. When you have a lot of debt, we need to start putting it towards the debt. A lot of that is just minimum monthly payments anyway. That just stack, 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 stack. That's, and that's what I'm feeling, the death by a thousand paper cuts. Absolutely. Yeah, you think that's good and you should take out more and that you're taking advantage of credit, but credit's taking advantage of you. Nothing's good in any way whatsoever. So why have you said that credit is good and that you want to take out more debt? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you add more cuts to the cuts that are killing you? I guess it's like the information that I'm getting is very, like you said, there's people who have dogs in the game that want me to spend. Cool. So you're done with that then because I've corrected that, correct? Yeah. Like I. Okay. So you're not going to get a condo. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Not right now. But Probably that's the goal. That's sure. Absolutely. I want you to. I want you to get whatever you want in terms of your first property. Absolutely. We got to get there. Let's not rush there and hurt ourselves because then you become house poor and then you get. F***ed. And even though, I know I keep saying like, but it's like people don't justify. Say, do it. not just, say it. Do not. Uh, do not. Just, don't have a house. It might don't. be worth being house poor. Ugh. No, being house poor is absolutely worse than renting. Are you kidding me? It's not even close. 0.8%. Uh, okay, the housing total is $766.84. Phone total, 0.8%. We know that was 40. And transportation total, 12.6% or $630.64. And I don't You're, spend a lot because I work from home. So. Necessary food, groceries, 4.2% or $210.24. Food going out to eat, it's not crazy. 3.4%, $170.71. But when we're spending double, we just can't unfortunately afford miscellaneous or medical. Sorry, medical is 0.7%. Miscellaneous bullshit. Usually stopping getting drinks. We know we did that a few times. It's 0.8%, close to 1%. And other large purchases was 28.3% or $1,419. Let's take a look at those. And to be fair, like some of the big purchases I made is because I'm going to Europe this summer. What? What? What, what the? F what? I'm gonna go see the Olympics. What the? F yeah, so you can't a lot afford of these... to live. How, why are you seeing the Olympics again? I want you to, but that is a want. 
You can't afford to live. I don't give a if you're seeing someone carrying a thing that's on fire down a path. It's kind of too late because I already made the purchases. Oh, kill me. I'm trying to credit. refund them as much as possible. It's kind of a little, a little past those. Re oh, what points. have you done? How much did it cost? Because mm. then you're going to go there and you're going to spend more money getting on food and sh Well, it was 2000 for just the plane. That was from the States to Europe and back. And then my friend, she's going to cover the cost of the hotel. Oh, I want to just ruin and she's like, oh, I just got a card just for Europe. And I'm like, I got a card just for Europe. Southwest Airlines. Yeah. That was a large thing. And there's legal fees, then a hotel, then Venomoine and all. <clears throat> oh, okay. 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 Can we turn on the AC in here? I'm sweating. This is insane. It oh, keeps going. This is insane. It keeps going. That's it? There's more? Well, that's a lot of the issues is like there's, there's I have to. There's more? Well, after the Europe is like. So that's kind of happening, but it's also like I'm getting ready to move into this new complex and I'm trying to figure out. Complex? I thought you were buying a condo. So you're... Well, I, I can't leave my company. So this is where oh. I'm stuck is I want to quit my job so I can go back home. But I can't go back home because the company. They don't have an office there or anything. They're... You said you work from home. It's you're required to live in certain cities. Oh. So I, can, I got to. Is there a city closer to home? Uh, that, that would be back where my ex lives somehow. Because mm. we left that city to go to Nebraska for college. Nebraska. Because we were going to go back to school. Corn. So much corn. And a lot of cows. Fun fact. There are more cows than people. That is fun. What are the minimum monthly payments total in your 401k loans? Um, Off the top of my head, I don't know. I'd have to look at my, Come on. my list. Do you have it? I do. Oh, I'm just. Mm. Mm. And see, I was always told, well, Jane is just like, as long as you have a. You're always idea, told a lot of things, and I don't give yeah. a no offense what you've always been told. <laughs> I don't. Everything you've always been told has been wrong. You know that. Stop listening to people who don't know what they're talking about. I don't give a shit people have said. <laughs> Educate yourself, inform yourself from reliable sources. Don't the I've always been told. <laughs> that's done. <laughs> Just to be clear, that's done with your life. Don't, no more urban myths. <laughs> well, how do I How do I even know that you're... Because like, that's a big thing, too. Is like content like from YouTube and forums. And and, and I've looked at books, and it's like they're dated information about the economy that was like 10 years ago. Well, well I'm not trying to get... You, you don't need an economics degree, but simple truths about debt are pretty similar. Depends on who you ask. That's the thing is mean? like there's always a different opinion. Like some sure people, there's always a different opinion, but there like, are objective realities that like there's YouTubers uh, like Graham Stephan, like oh you can just do this with your credit or like travel. Yes, but YouTubers. he never says hold a balance. He never says once hold a balance. I'm saying there's lots of different YouTubers. Who says hold a balance? Nobody holds a balance, but like that you can use a card for this for traveling or you no, can of travel course. hack and do it like oh no, it's five no, percent and open you it. always can if you're a credit card person. You're not a credit card person. I'm all about that too. Fuck yeah. And You're leaving out the equation where you hold balances. None of them say hold balances. So I, I, I disagree with what you're saying. Sure, people have different opinions, but what YouTubers saying hold balances? Not necessarily. And if they're there, there we are, need to there are, attack them. What is it? People who have said, and granted, it's probably mis pushed out by banks, like saying that keep a little balance to show a payment history, showing that you're making a payment. Yes. But, but even if you did that, you don't have a little balance. I want to, I wouldn't come after you and like obliterate you for holding a little balance i'd be like that's stupid fix it but this is not a little balance so again when it was incorrect. two incomes it was easy to pay off a lot of these but it's not and it hasn't been for a while and you yeah. haven't you haven't adapted yeah you haven't cut back you're still spending and that's kind of my goal it's like how do i live off of the one income because together like our finances were like we were making about 70k together and then our apartment was pretty cheap with a roommate you are right, though. It is hard to sort through what the good information is. I, I've seen, actually, just a lot of people, this is just a vent of my own, a lot of people are like, why would people ever buy the budgeting program when all this information is for free online? It's so hard to tell what's a reliable source, what's good. Everyone has different opinions. So what we did is we, like, brought experts in, in the field together, and we, like, created, like, one concrete place that everyone can go through. And it helps people like you. It helps people like her if you're that person who's annoying and says that kind of crap. Because it's impossible. You go and try to search things, and you're going to get a lot of information. You're correct. None of the information that says what you're doing, though. So, I like, I, I don't buy that. 
Well, like, just Frankensteining a bunch of information. It's like, oh, it's not that bad. Or it's, you know, the misinformation from family who obviously never aren't Never listen best. to family about financial advice. That doesn't make sense. But who, do, like, that's the main people, like, in your corner. I know. No, no, no. You're right. No longer do that. Just don't. They've led you down the wrong path financially. Just don't listen to them anymore. You email me. Okay. <laughs> you okay. email me. Can't promise an instant response, but we respond. I'm going to put your budgeting to the test. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you have the Discord with all the other guests, so they, they can help too. Everyone's like holding each other accountable. What, what are the minimum monthly payments on the 401ks total? Oh, um, my bad. It's okay. A little bit of a squirrel moment. We, we went down rabbit hole. So they're all relatively small, and they come out of my paycheck, so I don't even see the payments. Um, they come out of your paychecks. Then never mind. I'm not counting them because we're I'm trying. I'm we're gonna do your net, okay, and then yeah. we're budgeting off of that. So and they're all under twenty dollars. As a viewer of my show, I'm sure by now you have a good understanding of not only how important it is to take care of your finances, but also how important it is to take care of your financial future. The sponsor of today's video is Mumu, which also happens to be my go-to investment app. They're currently offering lots of amazing ways to more effectively take care of your financial future through smart investing. First off, you can receive up to 15 free stocks by simply making a qualified deposit. Or if you already have a portfolio with a different brokerage, you can transfer to Moomoo and receive up to $5,000 in cash rewards. And these cash rewards as well as the rest of your uninvested cash will earn you an impressive 8.1% APY for the first three months while you get a feel for the Moomoo app and figure out your next investment investing opportunity. And if you need help figuring out that next investment, don't worry. Moomoo has tons of powerful tools to help you there too, such as stock screeners and industry chains, which give you insights into all of the different investment opportunities one industry has to offer. And don't worry, if you're feeling overwhelmed, you have access to a community of over 20 million users globally. Plus, you can stay updated with their 24-7 news updates. Don't wait until it's too late to get these incredible sign-up offers. Click the link in my description box below to switch to Moomoo today and unlock all the tools you need to secure your financial future. How much do you spend on gas a month? Mm, probably like when I'm just in the city, just 120, but- it Normally, just on average. It's because sometimes I drive to Colorado and that throws off my budget. On average, on a monthly basis, how much? Average probably, it out. Probably 150. Okay. What's the new car insurance going to be? Um, It should be 128 and then okay. that's bare minimum insurance. Okay. Okay. Tell people for fun. This is anything else you need to survive in life. Hundred dollars going to the grocery store, buying food to eat. Three hundred dollars. Do you count medication? Huh? In that? Do you no, count? no, 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 no. Okay. Not yet. That's in medical. So medical. Give me your medical expenses on a monthly basis. This includes therapy because you should be going to therapy. To be clear, well, I think we already determined that. I'm trying to find a cheaper therapist, but with the current yeah. costs after insurance, my therapist is 190. I go once a week, and then medication's 80. What about some online stuff where? Well, that's, that's, this is telehealth and stuff like that, too. Like, yeah. It's a specialist. She's a specialist for my condition. Okay, so how much... Uh, what are we going to budget for that plus medications? I just need a number. You're going to do this more concrete anyway, but I'm, I need a number. Um, I'm on the wait list to go back with a student, so that should put it back down to 80 a month, and then if I need the specialist, 190 Once And then medications? Month, $80. Jeez. Yeah. It's a and all of these combo. numbers changes when you lose your job by quitting your job, which and that's no, where I'm at. I was like, I want to quit my job, but it's like I'm subscriptions changed. are done. <laughs> no more. What's your rent currently? It's gonna be base eight thirty. Water, gas, electric. Mm, about seventy for water and trash, and then electric is um, between eighty up to one twenty, depending on the winter. Call it 100. Internet? Paid for by the company, but it's 40 that comes out of my account. Okay. But they reimburse me. Oh, okay. Because I, I work from say. home. All right, your debt minimum monthly payments. Let's get that. Yeah, watching you type isn't, a, isn't the most comfy feeling right yeah, now. Yeah, you should have done this multiple times before coming out in here. And you would be in a completely different spot. But let, let that be a lesson to everyone else <coughs> who's watching. Because you can't go back. Okay, $979.97. That's insane. Yeah, I didn't think it was that bad. I, to, I don't know how you didn't, but okie dokie. Because it's all automated. I don't even look at it. It's a lot of 
putting your whole head in the ground, hiding from it. So let's get your minimum monthly expenses. Anything else that you need to survive that I have not incorporated into this? No, I I use my main job. For Wait, that did I, I see gym? But that's also from. It work. can be reimbursed. I just have to send statements, and it's only thirty five. Okay. And that's send the statements. Okay. Okay. So minimum in order to survive is two thousand nine hundred sixty seven ninety seven cents. Oh, and food for patches. How much? It's about forty. I get the big bag. I'm also throwing in pet insurance, so let's call it sixty. Sixty for dog. Do it. It like has saved me thousands. It will save you. I feel like I've looked into it before and it's not that cheap. So who do you partner with? Well, I don't have a partner for this one, but I use uh I mean maybe it is more expensive. I I, I, I looked, looked at Pet Best because my company owns Pets Best. Okay. I, I do lemonade. Mine might be forty. Forty? And that's for So let's call it eighty total for dog. Hi, buddy. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give her a pet. Well, hopefully, they don't quote too high because my other dog is older and. A that lot one of might the time. be more difficult, but let's at least get the younger one on so okay. they can be on something. Okay, so plus eighty for that brings us to now three thousand forty-seven ninety-seven cents. She's farted on me a couple times, but she is very cute down there. At least your feet are warm. I know. <laughs> I enjoyed giving her pets before we filmed and many pets after. I'm working on she, getting the paperwork for her to be like proper kind of support animal. But my She ex- seems like it. She's so freaking chill. It's you wild. should meet my other dog who's my actual support animal. He's more chill. Wow. Way chiller. Wow. That's wild. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. But he's old. He's my he's my little old man. Do you want to sure. see a picture? Uh, sure. Yeah. But he's, he's kind of expensive because he's old. How old? He's going to be 12 this year. Oh, yeah. What kind of dog? He is a pit bull mix, Staff Shire Terrier. It is. Oh. He's just a baby. Oh, it's just a handsome boy. But my ex took him, so. Oh. F- We're fighting in court for the dog. Yeah, I would too. I would do anything for mine. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to South Dakota next week for court. Essentially getting about 3000 bucks, so you're like breaking even. That's but you where said it's, it's going up. It's going up because we just got a So what do you think it's going to go up to net? Like three thousand two hundred dollars, three thousand three hundred, three thousand one hundred. So it's three percent off of my new base and then the ten percent differential, so it's like I'm making like twenty five fifty an hour. For how many hours? I work forty and then sometimes I'll do overtime and then I have a second job. How much do you think is gonna be net? I try, I've tried to ask that a couple times. What do you think is going to be net? Because you have a lot about of things 3, that you take advantage of. About three, so it's about the same. Yeah, it's about that. Because a lot comes out for insurance, a lot comes out for the four hundred one k loan. I have bad news. You need three thousand to survive. So, unfortunately, we've dealt with this on a few episodes now. It's like, I, I, mathematically, there's nothing I can do here. Like, if your income is what you need to survive, and that's you living in a minimum, and you're not living in a minimum right now, you are going out. It's not a crazy amount, but you can't afford it. And any you like a penny, you can't afford it. I'm getting heartburn and sweating from this mess. This is a big one. Yeah, I had to bring a small tree to get all these statements. I would certainly be working as much overtime as possible. Anything that's available. Now, again, this is going to be a mental health thing, and you need to talk to your uh, mental health professional about this. But what I'm saying from a financial point, and then change this based on mental health, stay there as long as you can in this job, and then we move back when things are financially secure. I don't want you to walk away from this. You sign the contracts. Let's be an adult. Let's pay for it. And I know you can do it. Pick up as much overtime as you can. Now, what sucks? I did recently start a second job. Really? Yes. How much? So are you bringing in? 14 an hour, but it's not a lot of hours. How many hours? It's about six a week doing weekends. And then um, once in a while, I'll do like DoorDash and stuff in like the city. Now that I live in a bigger city. Yeah. But it's not a whole lot. Well, it's let's just go off of like that. 200. Yeah, it's going to be an extra about, well, yeah, net, maybe 300. Yeah, for tax. 300, 275. That can help start moving the needle. But again, for, <laughs> let's minus the car from the total debt. But on just about, what does this give you? Let's say you put the extra 275 towards it on a monthly basis. It takes 54 months. Four and a half years. Uh, that's I don't want you to wait that long to move home. Yeah. So what's clear is we just 
you need to work as much overtime as possible. If that second job is not giving you enough hours or getting a different second job, the Uber Eats, it's going to be dependent on the area or DoorDash. If well, it's I got worth that it, job because it has benefits that I don't have to pay for the gym anymore because I get a free membership. So, well, okay. Well, I'm sorry, but saving $13 a month is not going to be the make or break. Whereas if you go make hundreds of dollars more a month somewhere else, it's going to be much more worth it. <laughs> I guess What's it's bigger, just, hundreds of thousands of dollars well, at the obviously, gym? obviously, yeah. But okay, I'm so, just saying it's like just trying to find a job that doesn't interfere with my job is a big yes, thing. Yes, absolutely. Of course. This is going to take work. I'm not saying this is the easiest thing in the world. But if you if you only do what you're doing now, it's going to take five and a half years. And I don't think that's an option for you. Yeah, with mental health, happen. I do not think yeah. so. So what you have to do, have to do as just a responsible adult, I'm sorry that you're in this situation, but you are. Hopefully some things with the court, you know, that helps. But, and you know, regardless of, of all be, that, what you have... his. What, exactly what but on. what you have to do regardless is you're going to need to bring in about an extra 500 dollars a month minimum that will at least bring this closer to like three years okay. you know if we can get even like an extra thousand dollars a month which might be you're you might be looking at i'm working like 70 hours a week this sucks i have no life that's okay i would rather you have no life for two years and have an amazing rest of your life because you have so much life to live but if you keep kicking the can down the road and you don't sacrifice now, it's going to be long. It's going to be painful. It's going to be stressful. It's going to be bad for your mental health. You're never going to have enough money to retire and it's going to just be bad. And that's not what I want you to do. So right now, sacrifice is the name of the game for you. And by that, I mean, not only cutting back on your expenses, but working as many hours you, as you can at any amount of jobs, DoorDash and Uber Eats. You're going to, I know people here who have made a ton of money and I know people here who make no money. You got to figure out if it's mathematically worth it after all expenses and maintenance and gas and all that. If it's not, we're trying to do something else at a coffee shop. For example, uh, here at Tesla, I can't speak about your town, but they're like, they're like begging, begging at the Cybertruck plant, begging, begging like 23 bucks an hour. Like they'll accept any anyone off the street they're like please we need people like there are opportunities not luxurious not great but guess what they will get you out of this situation and if you can get out of this in a couple years you have so many decades left so many decades left of an amazing life but that is your choice going forward on the mental health side you need to talk to a mental health professional about that i can't do anything but the finances a lot of that from our end it's your choice. Hammer financial score. Uh, let's let's do it real quick. I I'm guessing it's a zero, but I mean, let's think. Let's think. Spending for actually spending in a budget. You shouldn't be overspending your budget. But what your percentages were in terms of your food, I'll actually give you a more generous two out of ten. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's generous. But debt, you're not missing any payments. You're not in collections. You are taking on a 401k. Um, yeah, one out of ten. Emergency fund, there's nothing there. We drained it zero out of ten. Retirement, there is there, but you've borrowed up against half of it. But so, it's gonna vest and then it's gonna be double because it's like Well, even still, we are borrowing against it, so I am gonna have to lower it for that for your age. I'm gonna give it a three out of ten. Real estate, not there, and don't get there yet. Trust me, you're gonna f yourself if you do zero out of ten. I mean, just look, you're breaking even right now with a low rent. So a mortgage does not make sense. Hammer financial score 1.5 out of 10. Hey. Make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calebhammer.com.